Parkland, Newtown, Columbine. Three schools on lockdown, students in fear, deadly weapons on campus. No one can ever forget these images. Yeah, they are still etched in our memories, and although it doesn't always end in a shooting, students are bringing guns on campus, and it is happening right here in central Indiana. And in some cases, the students are being allowed back in school instead of being thrown out. Here's Gabby Gonzalez with a Fox 59 investigation no parent should miss. We saw the blood on the floor and we were all like scared. And we didn't know what to do because we were so young and there was just so much going on. Dejanae Gilbert remembers the night she witnessed a shooting as she was leaving a basketball game at Lawrence Central. I wasn't expecting all that to happen. So it was like so much going on. There was so many emotions and so many people were hurt. Her friend's brother was shot that day in 2016. Another student convicted for the crime. We are so young, like, what do you need a gun for? As our Fox 59 investigation found, there were 56 reported incidents of students bringing guns to school last year, 28 of those in Marion County. Each year, school districts are required to send the State Department of Education details about their gun incidents and the consequences students faced. We want to know that they're safe in their environment, that they're protected, and we want to know that the leaders over those children, all our children, are, you know, making the right decisions. Here's the breakdown. 14 gun violations for IPS, four in Warren Township, three over in Washington Township, three in Wayne Township, two in Decatur, one each for Lawrence and Perry Townships. The law does advise that for weapons that are a firearm or a destructive device, that expulsion is the proper route. But records show only 39% of the students involved in gun incidents were expelled. Most were actually suspended. We reached out to districts to find out why those decisions are made. Ultimately, when a student is in possession of a firearm on school property, that gun can be traced to them and is subsequently recovered. They're expelled. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. In this district, two of the 14 gun incidents show a student was expelled. The rest were given out of school suspensions. IPS spokesperson Carrie Klein Black says something like a picture of a student with a gun on social media, but no gun found on campus requires careful review and may not rise to the level of expulsion. Things aren't always so black and white. And at the end of the day, we do want to give our students due process. We're very vigilant in communicating to our student body that this is very serious. Meantime, other districts say factors like a student moving away, being special needs, or finishing the school year through online classes are not reflected in the data. While school leaders determine how to handle each student, there are district-wide efforts to prevent guns from ever making it on campus. The kids definitely, they want to come to school and feel safe. I mean, otherwise, they're not going to learn. We have 200 some cameras. In Wayne Township, Doug Scheffel is the director of security for the 18 schools in the district of about 16,000 students. We're always in constant radio contact. So out of the three gun violations here last year, two students were expelled. A third was suspended but continued their education through online classes rather than in school. At the ninth grade center, these surveillance cameras keep an eye on kids. We can go back and play it back. And students can send anonymous tips. We can zoom in. That goes straight to Sheffel's phone. When a weapon is found, Sheffel says the action is swift. We obviously immediately want to secure the, the person who we think possibly has that weapon. And so they're brought in, uh, they're searched. If they drive, the vehicle will be searched. And if they have a locker in the building, the, the locker will be searched as well. The district also turns to random searches with IMPD canine officers and handheld metal detectors. Why are you late? But Sheffel says the most important tool. You all right? Yeah. Okay. Is a relationship school resource officers build with the kids. See, look at that. Have a seat. Take care. We're constantly trying to educate the students and telling them that it is okay if they see something to say something. 
The most common guns involved in these cases are 9 millimeters and 22 caliber pistols. Also, Fort Wayne Community Schools, which is nearly as big as IPS, only had one gun violation last year. Records show that student was suspended. A breakdown of the gun violations in each district by school is not readily available on the state's website, but we've compiled a database of the information we gathered for you on our website. Just head to fox59.com and click on the story. Back to you. All right, Gabby. Wow.